Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to get the 2010 Orbiter Flight Simulator, which is a free download available on the internet. Um, just open up your preferred internet browser. Um, and as you can see, I prefer to use Internet Explorer. Um, I have Google as my homepage, so just type in Orbiter Sim. Orbiter Sim. Whoops. Stupid keyboard. And the first one on Google should be Orbiter Space Flight Simulator. Just click that. And it'll take you to this page. And you'll see it'll say Orbiter 2010. And this is where you, you basically can read everything about um, the game, but it's just a brief um, explanation. So this is the home page, and when you click on downloads, um, what you're going to want to do is click zip installation guide, and it'll give you it'll give you this little small page, and on the right side there will be Orbiter download sites. Um, the trusted one is the very first one, download orbitersim.com, click on that, and then it'll pull you up to this website. Um, now, what you want to do is to get the newest version, uh, newest version, which is, um, better, it's better than the 2006 um, one, because you're not able to do as much. So if you want to get that one, you can. But I'm just going to show you how to get the 2010 one. Um, click Direct File Download. And it'll take you to the, this. Um, it'll say Base Install at the top. Click Orbiter Base Zip. Which, um, the very first one, that gives you all the... Um, files, so just click that, and um, just cl you can click save as, and save it wherever you want. Um, I've already downloaded it, so I'm not gonna do that, but um, it'll start to download, and it, it may take a little while, but um, it'll just. It'll, once you do it, it'll, be, uh, it'll show you when it's finished. Um, so once you go back, you're going to want to go back to the website, um, here. And you're going to want to do manuals and, um, tutorials. Now, the, um, when you click the Orbiter PDF, um, this will be the this will be the 2010 version. It's actually pretty big. It's 135 pages. Um, I would recommend just saving it. Um, give it a second to load. It's pretty big, so it'll take a moment to uh, to fully load. Alrighty, there you go. And as you can see, oops, right here, it's 135 pages and it's very big. Um, let me zoom out so I can get. At least the whole page on here. You won't be able to. I don't know if you'll be able to read what um it says, but um it's very very long. As you can see, it's got a lot of information. But um, it basically tell you tells you everything you need to know about the game. Um, there is multiple different um um. There's multiple different space um crafts. That you can fly, as you can see, there's one of them. That is the Delta Glider. There's this one, 
which I'm not sure which one that is. Go up and go back to see. That's the this this one right here is a shuttle A. Um, that's a shuttle uh PB. Um, I w it's okay to fly, but it's very very difficult. Um, as you can see, this is very long, and um, it, it's pretty realistic to what you would do in real life. But um, this is, I would go ahead and I would recommend saving it. As you can see, save right here. Um, that'll take a moment. Whoops. Accidentally exited my page. But yeah, you're going to want to get that. Ugh. It's loading Yahoo. And once we're back at the page, um, there's, um, different, uh, things you can do. If you go to the gallery, um, you can see, you can look at some pictures of the game, why it's downloading, you know, what you do. And then... You have other stuff, and you can pretty much roam around the thing. Yeah. Whoops. Um. If you go to, on the download side, if you go to more goodies, you go to Orbit, uh, Orbit Hangar Mods. And just click on it, and that allows you to download, um like other mods to it like you can see here there's a Boeing 737 um where you can launch the uh, space shuttle off of the Boeing 737 um like they do like NASA does um sometimes uh called a piggyback um you have a lot of different stuff um let's see I mean, we'll be able to download it'll it gives you more um this is another place we can download it um you can download more textures different stuff like that and it gives you the forms whenever it decides to load which is people that things that people want to get in the game what they're making Alright, and, um, right here, if you go to, on the time it says Orbiter, um, add-ons, you have different things, you, you can have, you have spacecraft, launchers, aircraft, uh, repaint, scenery, uh, scenario, and playbacks, tutorials, utilities, and miscellaneous. Um, basically this is all your different stuff. Um, let's just go to... Spacecraft. As you can see, it gives you all your different stuff. Um, you have another space shuttle. When you see STS, that usually means space shuttle. Um, it, or it's the um, what NASA uses. It's the American space shuttle. Um, oh, this is Endeavour. The Endeavour spacecraft. Um, there's an extension um SCS this is discovery and you can basically search through all these and you can um you can go through different things to see you have the USS Enterprise from Star Trek um 
another thing also from Star Trek, you can get the um, Apollo uh, rockets and launch the rocket. Um, and basically, you can search through this and do all that. Now, um, once your thing finishes, and your download finishes, um, you're going to come up across, let me go to my thing. Um, it'll be zipped, and you'll see a bunch of, you'll see a lot of stuff like this, but you won't see these icons right here until they are, um, unzipped. And you just click one of them, you just, you just extract all of them when that's done. Um, just drag the orbiter icon to your desktop, or wherever you want it. And that's about it. Um, tune back later and I'll make a video on how to get, uh, how to actually use, um, or the Orbiter Flight Simulator 2010 and the player interface. Thank you for viewing. Please remember to subscribe.